Hi everybody, this is Nathan from Rain Networks. Thanks for joining us today. We're going to do a multi-part series on how to configure Proofpoint Essentials. Uh, Proofpoint Essentials is a great cloud platform for uh, technical service companies and managed service providers to manage email filtering for their customers. So Proofpoint Essentials includes um, antivirus and anti-spam filtering. Um, you can do outbound email encryption. Um, you can do something called uh, URL defense, which is basically uh, where Proofpoint protects the links that are emailed around to your customers um, and sandboxes them to ensure that they don't include bad stuff like viruses and whatnot. And they even have a, a great uh, emergency inbox feature, uh, just in case you know you have a server outage or something. They basically give you a backup plan for sending and receiving email, and even archiving, which is a, a feature gaining in popularity is a lot of businesses have to archive their email for legal reasons or compliant reasons or whatnot so anyways we're gonna uh, start out today just with kind of the account hierarchy and proof point essentials once you understand the account hierarchy um, it becomes a lot easier to navigate around in the tool and so I'm gonna go ahead and get uh, logged in here and basically we have a account that we've created called uh, test rain disty uh, for rain distribution and uh, basically this is uh, an account that's emulating kind of like a uh, managed service provider or a technical service provider that would uh, normally use this account and so the first place that we would normally go to kind of get set up is we would go to the customers tab and the customers tab is where we're going to set up uh, our customers that we're going to manage with this tool so now that we're in the customers tab we're going to go ahead and say add a customer and we'll go ahead and uh, just put in the customer name and fill out this uh, info here I'm just going to put some fictitious contact info here All right, and then for um, this next section, to get to the next section, we're going to click on Continue to Configure Customer. And this is where it's going to start asking us for domain name and creating an administrator account. So I'll go ahead and uh, put in some domain name info here. Delivery, uh, whoops. Delivery destination is not necessary right now. If we knew the delivery destination, which is basically the mail server where we want to start uh, sending email, we could put it here now. But the delivery destination and active failover destination, we can configure later uh, if necessary. So that's these are uh, optional fields. The actual domain name itself, though, is a required field. Um, they don't specifically note that here, but I can tell you that that is, that is the case. Uh, the other thing that is uh, also the case is that the email address has to match your domain name. So, for example, I've put my personal email address in here for the administrator account. That has to be the same domain name as what's listed up here. All right, for the load user section, um, this auto filled because of my browser. Um, but this is a completely optional scenario. Uh, basically, this is if you wanted uh, Proofpoint to synchronize to your Active Directory to go get your user uh, user list. Um, kind of a nice feature, but there is other ways to, to add users, which I'll be covering in subsequent videos. So again, if you want to leave this section blank, no problem. All right, so as you can see from this screen, the only fields that we absolutely have to have data in is the domain name field. Uh, the first name last name field and the email address field notice that there's a little checkbox here that says send welcome email this is very important so what's going to happen after this is this email address is going to get a message from proofpoint um, where it'll say click here to activate your account you'll click on the the link to do so and then this user will set up a password so that they can get admin level access into the portal all right, we'll go ahead and uh, head to the uh, next section here. Oh, one other quick thing, this outbound sending IP address. Again, this is something we can fill out later. We don't have to put this in now. If you have it, great. If not, no big deal. Go ahead and hit the green button that says continue to package and licenses.
Okay, this is where we put in the number of licensed users. I'm just going to put in one here, and then we're going to click continue to summary. And then you got to click on this little checkbox here to agree to the EULA. And then from here, um, we could go ahead and click place order. And that's how easy it is to add a customer uh, into your proof point. Now, one of the key reasons why I wanted to add this customer is demonstrate this little breadcrumb feature up here at the top. This is one of the most important features uh, within Proofpoint Essentials is understanding this breadcrumb. So, as you can see right now, it says Test Rain Disty and then Chad's Automotive, which is the test company that you just watched me create. That company was called Chad's Automotive. If I wanted to go ahead and manage my rain distribution account I would actually just click back on test rain disty and notice how the chads uh, automotive section went away if I then said hey I want to go back and uh, manage one of my customers I click on customers then I click on chads automotive and you'll see that the breadcrumb up here clicks back to chads automotive so now if I want to uh, manage say the users for Chad's Automotive I can click on users and groups and notice how the breadcrumb is test train distribution Chad's Automotive and then users and groups so as you add clients under your Proofpoint Essentials portal you will be able to manage all of them in one place by going to your master account which is again for me test train distribution clicking on customers and then finding the customer in the list and now that that customer is selected in the breadcrumb all of the options under here which we're going to go through in uh, subsequent videos will be options that you're configuring specifically for that customer in the breadcrumb so that's it for this video again this will be a multi-part series we're going to cover you know how to adjust spam settings um, how to do branding all of these different kind of options that uh, we might use within proofpoint essentials